Okay, so we're going to be putting this UV light on. And on this particular coil, there's this hole right here, which we can just uh, punch through and it'll come out. And we can just uh, put the UV light. I think I'm going to take this magnetic install off and just mount it right from here. I think that'll go in pretty good. Came with some hardware, so we can, we can use that. Okay, I laid it down. It doesn't really matter which way you put it on. I'll show you. That's how it is. From the bottom. Okay, let's install two screws. And you can see. Come on, nice. That's the wiring that we're going to do later on. Okay, so this is my UV light going in, already connected, it is connected to this controller. What a lot of folks do is they connect this to the existing transformer on the air handler and that's something you don't want to do. And the reason is because this thing is also a load and uh, you know, this thing is only designed to run the load on the air handler. So if you connect it to there, it's draining power from that. Transformers, in some cases, it's a 40 VA, you know, which is a 40 watt um, transformer. And that might not be enough to run this, your thermostat, and your UV light, you know. So it's better and highly recommended to have a dedicated power supply for this. So for that, what I ended up doing was grabbing one of these from an older air conditioning unit. So this is a 230, 208 to 24 volt output. And uh, you can steal it from any old air conditioning unit. You know, that's what I did. It's a 40 VA. Here are some of the specs. So I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna mount this, and I'm gonna use the, the 230. So I'm gonna move this wire to common and connect these two. I'm gonna connect it right at the bottom. I'm gonna feed it from this. So, let me go ahead and uh, remove this, move this over here, connect the two low voltage wires. I think those will be these guys going over here. So let's see how I can do it. So, basically I connected my wire just like that, you know, brought it in from here, tight right here, tight right here. And I mounted the ballast, you know, this is not a power supply, it's a ballast for that UV light. And uh, this is connected like this, it's not moving or going anywhere. And uh, the ballast needs to be powered by an independent source. And that's how I connected my power supply. So that's a 40 VA independent power supply that's feeding the ballast. And uh, it's a 24 volt output. And uh, what I did was I took the two wires from bottom and fed it to the common and uh, 220 volt input at the end, and which gave me the 24 volt output, which I'm feeding the ballast. So this is how I connected. It. It's on this side. Uh, people do recommend putting a fuse on there. You know, I don't have a fuse right now, but later on I may add one, just for safety reasons. Uh, that's pretty much it. You know, for the installation of the UV light. You know, once you have that connected, uh, the UV light is on, and I'll show you guys. I do have access from the bottom side so I can see it. A lot of people cut a hole through to see the UV light. I don't need to do that because I can just access it from the bottom and, uh, you know, see the UV light. So mine is uh, already on and everything is working good. So, guys, hopefully, you know, this helps you connect your UV light onto your system. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you.